morning, everyone. It has been a absolutely blah week. Um, <clears throat> came in Monday. I uh, was hoping that we were going to have some demos to do. I was hoping I was going to get some sales done. And it literally has been one of the quietest weeks that I've had since uh, since starting here. Everybody's still in the field. They don't want to talk to you. So every phone call or every attempt you make to go out and visit with somebody, they're just like, no, I just want to get done. Understand completely. So I've been really quiet on here. I haven't had a lot of video footage. Actually, I have not zero video footage. But today I've got a massive, huge surprise for everybody. Um, I'm headed down to uh, McBain Graphics and Design. Um, I've been using McBain since they were out on uh, John Wise Line by uh, Sparta for years for all my signs and stuff on the side of the trucks and everything like that. And <clears throat> since I've been at Advantage, um, the owners decided that it would be kind of cool to get something done to my new truck. And it's taken almost two and a half months to get there. We've gone back and forth on design ideas and this and that and this and that. And finally came up with one, sent it off to Agco to get approval for Fent. And it is now printed and going to be done today. So I'm just headed over there to get uh, a timeline as to when I should be coming back over to get my truck and to drop off a USB stick because he videotaped the whole process of putting this together. So I'm really excited to show you guys all this and uh, yeah, I'll get, uh, I'll get over here, get this stuff done and then we'll be able to see it here in a few minutes. Hey everyone, so once again, it's been one of those weeks this week, there's been absolutely nothing going on. And uh, the surprise that was supposed to happen on Wednesday didn't quite happen because uh, they had some troubles. So to do what they're doing, they ended up having to take the um, door handles off. And when they took the door handles off, they came off fine, but couldn't get them back on. and. It's ended up taking a whole nother couple days to get this thing finished. So it's uh, it's en route. Um, I'm just at the house right now. They dropped me off for a bit here and it's en route. They're gonna pick me up so we get the first chance to look at this thing. It's not how I wanted to do it, but we'll get a chance to look at it and see what this thing looks like. So I hope you all enjoy the surprise. Here it is. What do you think, everybody? It's pretty wicked, eh? So first up, I want to thank Bernie at McGreen Signs and Graphics. Um, they did an awesome job on this thing. I'm, uh, I feel bad for them. They, uh, they struggled a little bit with this whole thing. They struggled with me wanting it a certain way and trying to do stuff, but uh, he really, uh, he really came through. So here it is. So we tried to make it look as much as a Fent tractor as we could. So the Fent nose, and then the gray line above the Fent, that's the, the gray lines that sort of mark the hood design out on the tractors. We originally thought about white for the Fent, but I think the, uh, the gray looks even better. And then this picture on the back is unreal. So there's only one picture that's ever been taken that I know of that had a combine, a tractor, and a planter all in the same and this was it. So Arthur Santos and his group, uh, thank you so much for, for getting me that picture. It, uh, it looks awesome. So they did run out of some time. So what they're actually gonna do is this needs to get some green put into it. So they're gonna do that next week for me. But uh, and then Fent on the back, we've got the Advantage logo up on the front there. And then on this side, we've got more of the combine with the tractor. And what I really liked is they, we didn't do a flip where it was just a reverse picture. We were able to keep it original so that it, uh, it showed off the three pieces on both sides as good as it possibly could. And then back up to the front. So, Bernie was good enough to shoot a bunch of video while he was doing this for me. Um, so we're going to have that to be able to see how he does this whole thing. 
Um, he had to take all the emblems off, um, stretch and pull and do everything with this whole thing to get it to work properly. So uh, again, kudos to him. He did a, a fantastic job. Sorry that this has been a slow week. It just has sort of been the way that it has. We just got another two days full of rain here. And um, I don't know if we're gonna be doing much next week. So we're getting to that time of year where I've got some video footage that I've used through the season that I didn't do anything with. So we're probably gonna end up using that to be able to, to fill in some spots here. But uh, I'm gonna wait and this video end up coming up next Tuesday but uh, that'll give me time to edit this and get the how the whole thing was done and, and everything like that. But uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying these videos. Thanks for watching. Uh, thumbs up if you like the truck and, uh, and let me know if there's any comments in the section below. Other than that, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.